students hope you all are fit and fine and completed your homework students let us continue our chapter number 10 page number 170 measurement students we have already completed how to measure the length and weight okay and in this chapter you will learn how to measure the capacity also so let's see how to measure the capacity so measuring capacity measuring capacity then what is the capacity capacity it means how can that container hold that is the amount of liquid that a container or space can hold that is the capacity of an of that object okay suppose if you have glass okay so glass how much that glass can hold the water that much is the capacity of that glass only. So the amount of a liquid that a container or can that can space can hold. That means that is the capacity of that container or of that space. Okay. So students look at this question. This is very much interesting activity. Tell the group that holds more. Now here two groups are given. Okay, so three cups are there and two bottles are there. Now tell me which group can hold more. Okay, so two bottles or three cups? Of course, two bottles. Of course, two bottles. Correct? So you will take on the two bottles. Okay, now next. Now see the next picture tank. Water tank is there in a one picture water tank and next is a two jug. Okay, now tell me which can hold more that tank or two jugs? Of course, tank. Okay, now next three spoons or one cup. Which group can hold more? Of course, one cup. Correct? Three spoons can hold more? No. One cup can hold more than three spoons. Correct? So, it means the amount of liquid that container or that can that space can hold. It means that is the capacity of that container or of that space. Students, usually capacity major by milliliter and liter okay so what is the milliliter milliliter it means it is used to measuring small capacities like that uh, that of a cup or sp spoon that is the milliliter that time we used milliliter so it is used to measuring very small capacities of things okay and it is written as small m and capital L. It is not small L. Look at this. Small M and capital L in short. Now we will see what is the liter. Liter is exactly opposite to the milliliter. How? See, liter is used for measuring large capacities like that of a bottles, jugs, water tanks and etc. And milliliter is used for measuring small capacities right like cups spoons and etc okay and liter is written as capital l in short it is not small l look at here capital l in short liter is used liter is written as capital l in short and it is used for measuring large capacities like water bottles uh, bottles, jugs, water tanks and etc. Okay? Students, as 1000 ml, that is 1000 milliliter equals to 1 liter. When 1000 milliliter water completed in a one container, that means 1 liter water is there. Okay? Or 1 liter equals to 1000 milliliter okay so exact opposite same for example 6000 milliliter it means 6 liter 
और सिक्स लीटर इक्वल्स टू सिक्स थाउजेंड मिली लीटर ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स समटाइम्स स्टूडेंट्स सम मेजरिंग चार्ज आर देयर टू मेजर द लिक्विड्स लाइक हाउ दैट कंटेनर कैन होल्ड द लिक्विड और हाउ मच लिक्विड इज फिल्ड इन दैट कंटेनर ओके सो दैट इज मेजरिंग चार्ज Look at this picture. In this picture, seven hundred milliliter. See here, till here, liquid is filled. That is till seven hundred ml. That is seven hundred milliliter liquid or water is filled in that container. Look at this picture here. Four hundred milliliter liquid is there. Correct. So it is measuring jar, and it is easy way to measure the liquid. That liquid, not it is easy to measure how much that container in that container liquid is there. Okay. Now students, open your maths textbook. Write today's date. That is seventeen February two thousand twenty one. Read the question. That is question number nine. Take the container. that has more capacity now here you have to take the container that has more capacity okay so look at the first a it is 200 ml now b uh, here first see this one is 2000 ml this one is a 500 ml and this one is a 300 ml now which one has more capacity Yes, five hundred ml. So take here five hundred ml. Just you have to take. That is five hundred ml. Okay. Now next, B water bottles are here. One is a three hundred ml water bottle is here. One liter and two liter. Then which one? Which uh which water bottle has more capacity? Yes, two liter. So you will take. On this two liter water bottle. Okay. Now next, addition and subtraction of capacities. That is addition and subtraction of capacity. Same as we add and subtract length and weight, we will add or subtract capacity also. So here first we will add milliliter and then we will add liter. Okay, so first add milliliter first, and then liters. So for milli, so here zero plus zero is zero, one plus two is three, and six plus two or two plus six is eight. That is eight hundred thirty milliliter, and then we will add liter. So four plus three is seven. So here seven liter, eight hundred and thirty milliliter. Okay. Now next, here here we have to subtract because here minus sign is there. So for subtraction we will subtract milliliter first and then we will subtract liter. Okay. So subtract milliliters first and then liters. For milliliters, see two minus zero is two. Now five minus eight is this possible? Five minus eight? No. Then what we will do? We will borrow from the next number, and next number is two. So we will cut two, and then we will cut five. Now instead of two, what we will write? One, and instead of five, fifteen. Now we will start counting after eight till fifteen. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen minus eight equals to eight. Ah, uh, equals to seven. Fifteen minus eight equals to seven because seven fingers are here. So you, 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 we will write seven. Now here one will jump down because here downwards any number is there? No. So here one will jump down. So one hundred and seventy-two milliliter. Now we will subtract liter. That is six minus. Three six minus three, so we will cut three fingers. One two three. So six minus three equals to three. Okay, so we will write three liter. So three liter and one hundred and seventy two 
milliliter. Okay. Now we will solve question answers in your book. Solve this. That is question number 11. Solve this. See here first look at A1 here. So first here we will add milliliter and then we will add liters. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 0 is 5. Okay. Then 1 plus 5 is 6. And 6 plus 2 is 8. Very good. Okay. And 4 plus 4 plus 2 is 6. So 6 liter and 865 milliliter. Now see next one, next question D1. Here minus sign is here. It means here you have to subtract. For subtract, first we will subtract milliliters and then liters. So 0 minus 5. So what we will do? We will borrow from the next number. Because 0 minus 5 possible? No. So we will cut 0 and we will cut 4. Instead of 4 we will write 3. And instead of 0, we will write 10. Now, 10 minus 5 is 5. So, for, we will write 5. Okay. Now, 3 minus 7. Possible? No. We can't subtract. Right. So, we will again borrow from the next number. So, we will cut 7. Instead of 7, we will write 6. We will cut 3. And instead of 3, what we will write? 13. Very good. Now we will start counting after 7 till 13. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, 13 minus 7 equals to 6. So, we will write here 6. Now, 6 minus 2. Possible? 6 minus 2. We can cut two fingers. Yes. Easily. So, 6 minus 2 is? 4. So here 465 milliliter. Now we will subtract liter. For subtraction the liter 6 minus 4. So 6 minus 4 is 2. Two fingers are remaining. Correct? So 6 minus 4 is 2. So 2 liter 2 liter 465 milliliter. Okay, done. Okay, now next question number G. Here you have to add because addition sign is here. Now 5 plus 7. Now 5 plus 7. So count 5 plus 7 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 7 plus 5 is 12. So we will write 2 here, 2 here, 2 here and 1 will go up. Yes, now 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 plus 4 is 8. Correct? Now 2 plus 1 is 3. Now we will add liter that is 9 plus 2. 9 plus 2 is 11. So 1 we will write here. And 1 will go up. Okay. And then here any number is there? No. Then what will happen? 1 will jump down. So 11 liter and 382 milliliter. Done. Okay. Now see next one. H1. So here subtraction that is minus sign is there. It means you have to subtract. So first you will subtract milliliter column. So, see here, 3 minus 5. From 3 fingers, you have to cut 5 fingers. Is this possible? No. So, you will borrow from the next number. So, you will cut 3 and 4. Instead of 3, you will write 30. And instead of 4, you will write 3. Correct? Now, 13 minus 5. So, we will start counting after 5 till 13. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13. So it is 8. Okay. So we will write 8. Then 3 minus 0 is 
3 only. Now 1 minus 1 is 0. Now 8 minus 7 that is 38 milliliter over. Now we will subtract liter column. So 8 minus 7 is 1. 6 minus 8 not possible. Then what we will do? We will borrow from the next number. At time we will cut 4 and we will cut 6. Instead of 6 we will write 16 and instead of 4 we will write 3. Now 16 minus 8. Yes, 8. And then 3 will jump down because here no number is there. So 3 will jump down. That is 381 liter and 38 milliliter. Done? Okay. Now students, our measurement chapter over. In this chapter, we learn how to measure the length, how to measure the weight and how to measure the capacity. And hope you understand all these three things. Even we learn how to subtract and how to add the length, weight and capacity. Yes? And hopefully you understand all these things. Okay? So practice at your home and complete your homework. Rest of the questions which we are not done in the class. That questions, all the questions are your homework. Okay? So complete your homework. Now students, close your book. And now we will learn table of 19. Okay? So table of 19. First I will say and then we will say together. So 19 ones are 19. 19 twos are 38. 19 threes are 57. 19 fours are 76. 19 fives are 95. 19 six are 114. 19 sevens are 133. 19 eights are 152. 19 nines are 171. 19 tens are 190. Now we will say together. So start with me. 19 ones are 19. 19 twos are 38. 19 threes are 57. 19 fours are 76. 19 fives are 95. 19 six are 114. 19 sevens are 133. 19 eights are 152. 19 nines are 171. 19 tens are 190. Okay. Now table of 20. Okay. So table of 20. 20 ones are 20. 20 twos are 40. 23s are 60. 24s are 80. 25s are 100. 26s are 120. 27s are 140. 28s are 160. 29s are 180. 20 tens are 200. Okay, now together. 20 ones are 20. 22 is a 40, 23 is a 60, 24 is a 80, 25 is a 100, 26 is a 120, 27 is a 140, 28 is a 160, 29 is a 180, 20 10 is a 200. Okay? So, table of 19 and table of 20, you will write in your maths notebook. How many times? Two times. Correct? Okay. And complete your homework. Our measurement chapter over. Okay?